So in this video we'll be looking at statistical significance and later on statistical power and what they mean for us in psychology. So statistical significance is just really all about trying to figure out whether um, our results are important or not. And we use the p-value for that. Uh, the p-value is just a cutoff we used as a decision making uh, tool to aid us in um, trying to figure out whether the results we have are showing an effect or not. Okay, so we'll have a look at an example to help us illustrate this. Basically, imagine uh, that we're tossing a coin a hundred times. Okay, and basically, most of the time we'll be getting a 50 50 split. This is what it would look like, right? So, something like, right? Uh, imagine that's a normal curve. Okay, so we get 50 up here, and sometimes we get 60. Sometimes we get 40, but these are more likely to be, have happened by chance. Now, we're tossing this coin because we want to find out whether it's a normal coin or whether it's a weighted coin. This is the distribution if the coin was a normal coin. But if it was a weighted coin, it would look something like this. And um, mo it's more likely to fall on, it, to be, uh, to have, um, to go heads uh, 80 uh, and tails 20, right? So it's the same kind of shape. It's a normal distribution because it's the sampling distribution. It's what will happen if we throw the, uh, the, the coin 100 times, uh, heaps of times, like 10,000 times, and then graph the averages of each specific study, okay? So what this means is that we can actually try to figure out what we decide a specific average of a study would mean for us. Okay, so here's, here's what that means. We toss a coin 100 times and we get uh, 65. Okay, uh, and that's like here, right? How do we know that it's just a, a normal coin or a fake coin? What if we get 90? And he's like here. How do we know it's just a, a highly likely to get it as a fake coin or just a normal coin and you got 90 by chance? That is the question we gotta ask ourselves. And what we have in psychology is this p-value cutoff. And that's um, 0 0.05. So that would be maybe somewhere like, uh, we can, for our purposes, it could be something like there. Okay? And what this means is that anywhere past a point, we say that something is happening. We get 51, we get 52, we get 53. That's not 50-50, but we attribute it to chance. Okay? But once we get past a certain point, maybe we can, uh, in this case, um, make it like something really, really high, whatever, like uh, 75. <clears throat> If we get 75 or above, we're going to say that it's a fake coin. Anything below 75, we're going to say that it's a normal coin, but if it, you know, whatever it is up here, any variance from the 50-50 was called by, caused by chance. And this, of course, also applies to everything <clears throat> below, um, below the equivalent on this side, but we're just looking at um, 75 heads for now. Okay, so we did a study and we got uh, we got 90 heads and 10 tails. Okay, so this is about the heads, right? It falls on this side of the graph, so it's more likely that this was a fake coin. Okay, but because we have our decision-making uh, cutoff of the p-value as p is equal to 0 0.05, which is this line here, there's a 5% chance that we um, got it wrong, that it's actually a normal coin, okay? So this 0 0.05, in other words, means that we have 95% confidence, but 5% uh, um, margin of error. So that's basically all it means by the p-value. Now, if we look back at what we have here, in words it would be, all you have to remember is that a p-value of less than 0 0.05 suggests that chance is not involved, and greater than 0 0.05, chance is involved. 
So we'll look at that, what that means in a second. But another thing we you might be um, asked to think about is errors, the two different types of errors. Now, type 1 error is rejecting a true null. Remember, let's, let's figure this out. So this is the equivalent of the null. Okay, this is a normal coin, nothing's happening. This is a fake coin, something interesting is happening. So if we get 90, like we got here, we said that it was a fake coin. In other words, we rejected a true, uh, we rejected the false null. Fake equals rejecting false null. Okay, and true would be uh, the if it was a normal coin, it would be the true null. Okay, so when we said that we could have gotten an error here, that would have been um, that error of rejecting a true null, of be, it being an actual coin, but we think it's a fake coin. On the other hand, if we got something on this side, okay, so we got maybe uh, 60, and we said, well, it's on this side of the graph, so it's obviously, um, it's obviously a normal coin, but actually it's not, and it's a a fake coin, but you know it's just by chance that it got uh, 60 and not 80. We missed out on this whole section here. Okay, we missed out on the fact that it was a fake coin, but we thought it was a true coin. So we did a type two error, which we in which we retained the false null. Remember, false null being fake, but we retained it thinking that it was normal. Okay. Another way to think of these two things is that here we were being too liberal in our decision making and it was a false alarm and here we were being too conservative. Okay, that's the way you can think about it like that. Okay, so that's all for now about statistical significance and we're going to look at statistical power in the next video. Thanks. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.